do say so myself. <laughs> and I have been the counselor to hundreds of kings, as I shall be the counselor to young Arthur on his journey to the throne. <laughs> Boom! I beg your pardon. Allow my eager apprentices to introduce themselves. <laughs> Dame Arthur Diligent, at your service. Ignatius the Intrepid, at your service. Malduck the Magnificent, at your service. Tenebris the Terrific, at your service. Wittage the Winsome, charm, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, may I continue? In a time long, long ago, a sword was forged in magic with great power to protect good and noble kings in battle. This enchanted sword was called Excalibur and has been passed down through the ages from worthy king to worthy king and now belongs to Uther Pendragon, the king of England. King Uther is in a terrible battle, defending his kingdom, but Uther has been a ruthless ruler who is no longer worthy of Excalibur. His power no longer protects him, and he finds himself in a terrible predicament. Only the rightful king of England shall ever rule Excalibur, or I will make my proclamation so. I beg your pardon, sire. Please, Merlin, I humbly request your assistance. Oh, all right. Swiftly send the sword into that stone.
in vain, for the wizard's spell is strong and has ensured that only when the time is right will the true heir to the throne of England be able to remove Excalibur from this stone. Knights, arise and be on your way. Let's move this stone to a safer place. <laughs>